Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing, doing a daily psychic tarot reading. Welcome, glad you're here. Whatever drew you in. So welcome new, new people, hopefully new subscribers, and welcome back, my soul tribe, my soul family. So love you guys and appreciate all your comments and likes and feedback. So supportive how you support me and you support um, each other in the comments. That's amazing. Thank you. So let's get to the tarot reading. This is the general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, so in the past, we've got the energy of the Six of Wands in reverse. Lack of success. Oh, this feel this does feel public. Like, um, I feel like you perceived yourself as unsuccessful and um, and it looks like your environment agreed with you. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> what do we need to know about this? Okay. In the past. A lack of success. I feel like it's in relation to being able to, what is this? Lack of success. Honestly, I feel like it's, um, we're tuning into divine feminine energy and it's a lack of success with divine masculine energy. It's a lack of, it's like not feeling attractive, not feeling compatible. It, but then, then there's this, um, I can't fight it. What is this? This feels like you shutting down in the past. Shutting down because um, who, who you were attracted to is not attracted to you. So there was a, a lack of reciprocity. This is someone who's um, used to an uneven um, being attracted to someone, but, and being very used to them not being attracted to you, to not having that. So like having crushes, stalking, following, and either energetically or physically, mentally, emotionally, constantly chasing and then tuning in checking within reading the energy it's kind of it's feels like an obsession so it feels like a confusion between desire and love attraction and desire and what love really is I feel like this, if I'm going to get to the root of this, it feels like it comes from childhood. You might have been a Ferber baby um, uh, as a child. It's don't hold that baby too much. You'll spoil it. And so let him cry. Let her cry it out. Um, just instead of showing, because it feels like, there was dysregulation 
in your family of origin, your parents, whoever was raising you. And so you take a child who's dysregulated. That's what babies do, infants do. They are dysregulated and you teach them through your regulation how to work through those intense emotional feelings. That did not happen as I'm reading this. And so instead, there's um, a constant desire. It started a spark of desire for what you can't have. Your mom, your dad, someone loving to be there for you too. Um, so, but being raised, being told that this is loving, this is what love is. And so when someone shows any kind of attention, maybe getting close to affection, but not affection, just attention, then it's like, oh my gosh, that's what I've been waiting for. It, it's very confusing. And it creates, I feel like um, in the past, here you didn't know how to you still didn't as an adult know how to regulate your own emotions and your own feelings it looks like you might have isolated yourself to find ground maybe it's more it's easier to be around animals than or nature animals nature your pets than people so there's kind of this um very profound how this is it feels very confusing for you because um i feel like you didn't have a foundation of love so it's very confusing to you what is love and every time i say what's love i that song all right in current energy, you are in Four of Swords in reverse. Coming out of healing. Coming out of healing. Finished healing. Are you finished healing this? Um, I feel like you've explored what is not love. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, present energy feels tough. Um, ooh. Okay. I'm not, I'm, uh, it does feel like you are coming out of healing. Like you've learned something about what love is. Feel like there's someone in your current energy who is refusing to heal refusing or unable at least in this current energy this is someone who also doesn't know what love is they use triangulation to um But I feel like there's a little um, discord going on. Um, boy, um, is this, it feels like a little walled off. It feels like overwhelm and feeling left out. Are you feeling left out? Are you feeling like... Um, Others belong, but somehow something is happening in the current energy. Maybe this person who can't or refuses to heal something, it, I feel like it's around one person. It's kind of, it's doing your head in is what I feel like, like, 
it doesn't have to be this difficult. Why are you making it this difficult? I feel like that's um, what's going on. But then there's a tower. Something happens. Oh, I feel like this is this tower is for you, and this tower is um, I feel like you see something. Something becomes very clear. I feel like um, I feel like you see this person. You see behind some mask that they're wearing. interesting whether they're male or female it's around the divine masculine energy when the divine masculine energy is in the reverse there's some lie i don't feel like this person is necessarily speaking the lie out but i feel like you're they're painting you in a light that isn't truthful or fully truthful and it and it's showing it's showing you who who you're dealing with and interesting it looks like the universe is just it looks like your guides are stepping back don what do you want to do with this This is a part of your transformation. This is important that this is happening. I feel like you're, you don't want to play. I feel like you are very swift with your response to this. But it doesn't feel like you want to play. This person, this, whatever this is that's happening, that's unfolding, it looks like uh, it makes you feel less than. And maybe that's what the, the words, the little things that they're saying feels like passive aggressiveness. Okay. Kind of, so around you, it kind of feels like a little mean girl type of energy um, in that they'll bring up something that's may, made to paint you in a poor light. It feels very confusing. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm. It it gets your attention. There's something about this that's important that you don't want to sweep under the rug. This is a red flag. Oh, that's what this is. This is about someone who you're supposed to be friends with, meant to be friends with, you believe you're friends with, and they they're leaving you out in the cold and it's leaving you feeling alone and isolated. I think that the tower, it shocks you. I mean, who is this? The thing is, they're only, I feel like they're trying to unmask you, kind of take you down a notch or two. But the thing is, is their behavior unmasks themselves as kind of petty and jealous and wow. Um, but it looks like your guides are stepping back to see what you do. How are you going to handle this? How do you want to handle this? That's what the energy is. How do you want to handle this? I feel like you, you don't take action. 
you're not so you're not reactive because you you want to respond to this this is important you're not ignoring this though this is a red flag good to know i feel like you're like you hear their rattle you see the red flag and you're like okay i think you're showing me who you are i'm not going to feels like you're gonna it doesn't feel like it's the time to respond and you know it but you're not going to sweep this under the rug this is duly noted i will come back to this this is not i'm not going to leave this and your higher self is in death and rebirth Boy, it feels like this could be um, the end of a connection. It could be a red flag enough so that this connection is in peril. It could be a red flag that at some point you address and this person changes that behavior and has a rebirth. But something, I feel like this red flag is important enough, get your attention enough that you, you're not going to ignore it. Some Something has to change because I'm not going to ignore this red flag. This feels very empowering. It feels like you're standing up for yourself. I feel like um, you, you realize your value. You realize the importance of loyalty and reciprocity. It feels like you, you, you just want an equal exchange. You don't want to be worshiped, but you deserve respect. Boy, you're this, you feel very solid about this um whatever this is i feel like you whatever this is it helps you define and make a choice you're also realizing on a broader place in a broader place um That you're not going to be around you love yourself too much to allow yourself to be around people who make you feel insecure unstable like they consciously work to destabilize you and make you feel less secure less stable feel like this somehow threatens your stability that you've been working for a long time, you're on your pentacles, on your finances. Um, I, and you're like, no, uh-uh. This feels good. This feels like you standing up for yourself. Boy, whoever this, I feel like you might go no contact, at least until you can work and you move on. You're like, um, at least with this energy. So you could no contact to this type of, I'm not going to join, mirror, match this energy. It doesn't have to be that you're saying adios to this person but you're definitely making a choice that this type of energy is not welcome and it looks like you're going to be victorious boy um i think you're going to surprise yourself with how um this feels like divine masculine energy that you, no matter if you're female, non-binary, or 
a male. We all run, we have access to feminine and masculine energies. Feminine energies tend to run on the left side of the body, masculine energies on the right. And it feels like your masculine energy steps up and protects you, protects all of you, your feminine, all of self. You're showing yourself how to how to protect yourself, how to use utilize effectively that divine masculine energy, that divine masculine energy when your safety, security, stability is put into question, made uh, is shaken, it shows up and really it's like you are taking care of yourself in such a beautiful way, how you want to be taken care of. You're showing yourself how you want to be protected by protecting yourself, standing up for yourself, taking action, and sometimes not taking action. Wow, that feels really good. All right, your challenge right now is seven of pentacles. So wherever you, you're focusing, whatever you're focusing on, that energy grows. That makes you very powerful manifester and creator. What you might be lacking is discipline of focus. And quite possibly a lack of understanding of what is important energetically speaking. I feel like something that you've been working on for a long time that um, you're wanting that reward, you're wanting that satisfaction, you're wanting that that payoff, that payout, the harvest. The challenge is harvesting I feel like whatever this is that's going on, there's a lot more going on in your environment. Don't let what's going on get in the way of the most important thing, which is your harvest. You didn't have success in your past. You didn't have victory. And now you you're primed you're ready for victory don't take your eye off the ball now the ball is not this person and what happens I feel like that's like a, a side dish the main course of what's really going on is that something is happening that deals with your security stability abundance work that maybe even health that you are, you've been focusing on for a long time and you're ready for that harvest. Don't allow whatever this person does to veer you off course. Don't allow lies and someone, I feel like this person might be suffering from some jealous, jealousy, envy, and again, there's this lie energy coming up. Don't allow someone's naive attempts to um, get in your way. I, I feel like you could um, be really harsh and put this person in their place. Or, boy, there's a lot of options. I'm so curious what, what you decide to do. Whatever happens, it looks like this is um, an opportunity to find some inner strength and to release from and detach from energies that um, are not rooting for you, are not beneficial for you. And you get to decide that. That's all your discernment. So, all right, this is your reading. I hope this was helpful. 
can't wait to read in the comments if you feel like sharing how this is your story um, or whatever you want to share with me about this. Um, wow. All right. Take care.